Good morning out there where is the multi-man and the flesh tapping in with you this morning. I know it's not the prettiest day, but I'm going to let you know the date. It don't matter if it's raining, sleet, and snowing, but live your best life today. Because it don't matter what happened last week. It don't matter what happened last night. But live your best life today. And how I'm going to do that? I'm going to surround myself with people who love me. So y'all let me know how y'all going to live y'all best life today. Good morning out there world. It's the multi-mean and the flesh. And I'm letting you know this morning. First things first. I got it on my mind. Oh, yeah. I'm feeling good this morning, man. Soon as I drop episode 10 last week, by Tuesday evening, by Tuesday evening at 5 o'clock. Man, I was ready to get on that mic again. I was ready to get on that mic again, man. I was ready to come speak to y'all, man. Y'all my family. Y'all my family, man, for sure. And I'm feeling this good, man, because y'all blessed me with 700 downloads last week. 700, so y'all already know we on the way to 800. I just pray y'all continue rocking with me, man. Y'all already know we taking this thing worldwide. We going worldwide. We not we not settling for nothing less. We not settling for nothing less, man. So I just pray y'all continue shining. I pray y'all continue watching, man. I just pray y'all continue rocking with me, man. That's all. <laughs> that that's all that is, man. Real talk. But I hope y'all had a blessed and a safe week last week. Like I always say, I hope y'all did y'all thing. And without further ado, y'all y'all go get y'all paper, y'all go get y'all pencil and have them have, have it ready to write. <laughs> have it ready to write. Cause like I said, man, I got it on my mind. I got it on my mind because I'm I'm feeling it in my heart this morning. I'm feeling it in my heart, and I'm asking you, do you care enough? Because I, I know I care enough, but I'm asking you, do you care enough? Do you care that no one in your family has ever done this before? You could possibly make history. That's, that's what I'm letting you know this morning. You could possibly make history in your family. Because whether it be school, whether it be business, maybe you maybe you doing doing your thing. Maybe you, you, you the boss of your job. You the boss of your job. And maybe no one in your family has ever took this step before. Or maybe no one ever made it this far. No one ever made it this far. So do you care that it's all on you? Do you care that? Do you do you care about that this morning? Do you do you care that you could possibly be the one that could show your family a life that they never that they never imagined? That they never imagined. Are you not phased of the fact that you could possibly be the one to get your family out that hole? So so why aren't you going ten times harder? If if you if you knew that. If you knew that, why why wouldn't you go 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 a little bit harder if you knew the, the youngest was watching you? Because I know they're watching me. I know they're watching me. So that's why I get up in the morning with it on my mind. That, that's why that's why I have a why. That's why I go so hard because I have a why. You know what I'm saying? So remember that in order to attain that degree you're fighting for, remember that in order to attain that promotion offer, maybe you're looking for a school to offer you, maybe you're looking for... Maybe you're looking for a raise. You know what I'm saying? I, I need you to be in remembrance that you got to be willing to sacrifice it all. You got to be willing to sacrifice it all. Because in order for us to present the best version of ourselves, we got to we gotta know the best version of ourselves. So, yeah, that, that, extra, that extra time you, you playing on a game, why not turn that time into something that'll help you actually grow? You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, that extra five minutes of sleep. Or that, or that, that, that late night foolishness that keep calling your phone, man. I need us to eliminate instant gratification. Eliminate instant gratification because we gotta bring the best version of ourselves. Because in all honesty, in all honesty, our goals could care less about our excuses. Our goals could care less about our excuses. So each and every day we get up in the morning, we gotta walk on our goals. We got to walk on our goals like a ladder. We got to walk on our goals like a ladder. So what I'm asking you this morning is, what are you willing to commit to? What are you willing to commit to? Uh, what are you willing to sacrifice? What are you what are you willing to sacrifice because whenever whenever you sacrifice something or whenever you commit to something that that shows self-determination, uh like basically you cannot lie to yourself. You got to you got to hold yourself accountable whenever you Whenever you commit to something that, that deals with self-accountability, that builds character. You know what I'm saying? That that builds character. 
So all I need for us to do this morning is eliminate self grat. No, 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 my fault. We got to eliminate instant gratification. Now I'm saying, so when I'm asking you, what do you mean? What are you willing to commit to? And what are you willing to sacrifice? I need you to write that down. Write that down because I know ooh, it's raining out there. <laughs> it's raining. It's raining hard out there, Lord. <laughs> but my fault. But I, I'm just asking you this morning: What are you willing to commit to? Because that's just like, and to put instant gratification in perspective, I'm saying that's bad because that's just like winning the lottery versus somebody that actually worked for a million dollars. How many million? How many lottery players go broke within a next few years because they don't know that process and i keep on going back to this because lord knows i didn't spoke on this all week i didn't spoke on that process all week because i feel so strong about not starting at the finish line we gotta all understand that we cannot start at the finish line we gotta know that we gotta take each step we gotta take each step to get where we're going because if it's all taken away from us we'll be able to take each step again you know what I'm saying? You can't win the lottery back to back. But working for that million dollars, oh, you could you could do that twice because you didn't done it once. You could do it twice. You know what I'm saying? So that's why that's why I'm on y'all tale about deleting that instant gratification. Because you will only like something until you're at the expense of it. Yeah, yeah, you like staying up all night, not going to sleep, but when it's time to get up in the morning, you mad. You mad. Are you you yeah, you like showing up late to work. Uh, and, and leaving early for work, but but when that check shot, when that check shot, you got something to say. Uh huh. You you booted up by the mouth. You got you got something to say. Uh uh. Yeah, you like not being on schedule. Yeah, you like moving on your time. Yeah, you like not having routine. But when you got a to do list five pages long, you you mad. You mad. So what I'm trying to get each individual to understand this morning: elite, delete instant gratification and commit to what you want. Being committed to what I want and eliminating that instant gratification has brought me to be disciplined to my craft. Come on now. I'm disciplined to my craft. I, I know when I get up in the morning, I got to eliminate that that instant gratification of that, that five more minutes of, of hitting that snooze button. I eliminate that and, and, and get up in the morning because I understand that it's not all about me. I care enough that I could show my family a future that they never even dreamed of. I care enough about that. You know what I'm saying? I care enough that I could be the one to possibly get my family out of that hole. You know what I'm saying? I care enough about that. So all I'm asking you this morning is, do you care enough? Do you care enough? Because I know in my heart, I care to do what's necessary now. I care to do what's necessary right now in order to attain a greater future. In order to attain a greater future. Because I just want to let you know, your goals do not care if you're tired. Your goals do not care if you had a long day. Your goals not worrying about none of that. Your goals are not worrying about none of that. Until you're ready to sacrifice what's good, you'll never attain that great. I just watched the video that talked about that. <laughs> no, I'm saying? I just watched the video that talked about that. And that man said, we got to give up what's good to attain that great. No, I'm saying? What's good is, oh, yeah, it feel good to sleep a little longer. Yeah, yeah, it feel good to just chill all day. Yeah, it feel good to, to, to put that book down and pick that phone up. Yeah, all that feel good. What? That feel good. But that great is, that great is, yeah, you got a mansion with a with a pool outside. Yeah, you could you could walk through your mansion with a robe on all day. Yeah, you you got a you got a California king size bed. Yeah, oh that's great. Oh, that's great. So why not give up what's good right now in order to attain that great? In order to attain that great, so I'm going to keep on, keep on letting y'all know that your goals can care less about your excuses. Come on now. Come on now. So so I, I just want, and this right here, this right here is why I really want y'all to listen up. You know what I'm saying? This right here, while I, while I was really, why I really came on here and had it on my mind, because I found this, I found this in my old notebook. I found this in my old notebook. And when I say this, I need each and every individual to listen to me. That's why I want that paper and that pencil out. But I just want to let you know this morning, success will never come unless you make room for it. Come on now, success will never come unless you make room for it. Your life's so full of foolishness and crap that success don't have no room to even slide in and take over. 
You know what I'm saying? Just as you just as you make room for all them clothes in your in your closet, just as you 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 make room for all that foolishness in your life, you 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 can't make room for that that success you truly desire. You can't make room for that. In order to make room for that success, you got to do this. And this is why I want y'all to write this down. You got to produce more by removing more. So number one, I need each and every individual to be clear about what they want. Be clear about your end goal. Whether it be the NFL, I need you to write NFL down. Whether it be a school teacher, I need you to write school teacher down. Whether it just be simply to be successful and financially free. I need you to write that down. If you're not clear and concise about what you want, you can't achieve it. You can't achieve it. And 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 if you can't achieve it, you won't even know what to remove. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I say produce more by removing more. Process of elimination is key. Process of elimination is key. In order to find out what you want in this world, find out what you don't want. If you don't want poverty, then you then you know you want financial freedom. Know what I'm saying? So I'm just I'm just letting you know this morning. Produce more by removing more. And number two, identify anything slowing you down. Identify anything that's slowing you down in execution of your goal. Now I'm saying, what's in your way this morning? Whether it be whether it be that phone. Where if you feel as though you're on that phone too long, I need you to I need you to put that phone down at, at least an extra hour before you go to sleep. And why not pick up a book? Come on now. Why not pick up a book? I need you to ask yourself what obstacles are in my way. Only you know. Only you know. And I need you to tackle that obstacle one by one. All them obstacles in your way, you could tackle them one by one because it's a journey. It's a journey, not a destination. So that's why we're we going to take this step by step. That's why I gave y'all these, these, these steps. You know what I'm saying? And whenever I say... Ask yourself what obstacles are in your way. In order for you to attain that success, you got to have that conversation with you. Drexel had to have that conversation with Drexel in order to figure out what I want in this world. I know I want financial freedom. I know I want this, that, and the third. Now I'm saying I know that because Drexel had that conversation with Drexel. Drexel had that conversation with Drexel. So I'm just letting you know this morning. You need to have that conversation with you. Only, only you got the answers. Only you got the answers. And number three, remove them obstacles. You know what I'm saying? That's why I say one by one. One by one. At the end of the day, each of us got to reach our goals. So by any means necessary, you got to get what's up in your face out your way. Whatever, by any means necessary, by any means necessary, you got to get whatever's in your face this morning. You got you to gotta remove that out the way because you got to understand you got to get to where you're going. You got to get to where you're going. So that's why I said this morning, do you care enough? Do you care enough to to remove your friends out your way? Do you care enough to to only get five hours of sleep a night? Come on now. Ain't no way in the world. And I'm not saying ain't no way in the world. But ain't no way in the world we should be getting about 12, 13 hours of sleep. Come on now. Ain't no way in the world. So, so, So that's why I say remove them obstacles. Whether it be that game, whether it be... That bed, whether it be that phone, whether it be your friends, remove them obstacles because less is better. Less is better. You know what I'm saying? So I just want I need I need y'all to understand that produce more by removing more. Produce more by removing more. Process of elimination is key. <laughs> know what I'm saying? Process of elimination is key, man. I hope y'all wrote that down this morning. I hope y'all felt me this morning. I hope y'all feeling as good as I was feeling this morning, man. Because I, Lord knows I put my heart on it, for sure. I put my heart on it. And, and, and before I before I leave out, y'all know I, I'm going to leave y'all with something. I'm going to leave y'all with something, and I'm signing out. I'm signing out, man. I hope y'all have a blessed and a safe week this week. I hope y'all do y'all thing. Like I always say, man, do y'all thing this week. And let's be excited for this week. Wipe that, wipe that frown off your face, man. Real talk, wipe that frown off your face. And this is what I got to say this morning. If you scared to make a decision, if you if you having trouble figuring out what you want to do in this world, make that decision in God's strength. You'll never be afraid to make another decision in your life as long as you make that decision in God's strength. It's the multi-man and the flesh. Y'all already know we, we, we about to have a blessed one. 
So y'all, y'all make sure and stay safe out there, man. And peace out.